roads play important roles in the economic development of our communities. The Modi Road, the larger the commercial activities. Realizing the importance of good road network to economic progress, Governor Akiumi Ambode, on assumption of office, embarked on the reconstruction of 114 roads. Two roads were picked in each of the 57 local councils in the state. This became a historic milestone because it was the first of its kind by any state government in Nigeria. Alakperi Agboyi Road was chosen to provide a lasting solution to the challenges of vehicle movement at Alakperi Junction. Besides, a new public infrastructure to make life easier for the residents around the community. Traffic along the Ikorodu Road axis will be easier as the rebuilt road provided alternatives. The story of Lagos is, is more or less the story of the black race. Beyond the fact that Lagos is a cosmopolitan state right now, Lagos boasts of the real, rich culture and heritage of Nigeria. Yet it's not as old as you have with, with other mega cities, but we just think that the brand Lagos is emerging in a way that the world has to take note of what is happening in Lagos. This ambitious road construction has resulted in the current facelift everyone is witnessing at Alakbere and is gradually changing the outlook of the community. Some of the elated residents who spoke with Lagos Community Update when we visited the area said the four lane with 18.6 meters width road is planned to route motorists from Alakbere through Agboyi towards Ikorodu area of the state. I see more major developments coming to this area. Uh, in the first instance, this place is the headquarters of the LCDA. So, this road construction is further going to help development in this area. This area, as at the time the estate was opened up, it brought a lot of development to this place. Because from here you can connect the express and then go to either Ikeja or go to the island. So this uh, road development is good to further boost business, commerce, and even social activities around this place. <laughs> I'm happy with you. the time where we enter this area. This road is not, especially this Alakura is not like this. But since this man has taken over, everywhere is uh, is going to make the road fine. To Jobaro, Omiwale, to Omiwale, Titi Wauda, to go to Obasi, to go to Oman, to go to Oman. Some even believe that on completion, the road will attract major investors. I give kudo to Ambody because he's a man of decision. He's an honest man. Whenever he promise, he will do it. He will implement it. And then he promised about this road. And then you can see yourself now. He has turned to Alakbera to a new city. He will bring a more morale to Alakbera and then uh, the business in Alakbera will boost on. I will pay our moto and to share our Taja and to Raja and to Lobisha. I will be able to share our Taja and to share our Taja. 
So we will call it a little, little. So we will call it a It's a big kudos to His Excellency Governor Akio Mambode of Lagos State for him to have faced or stretched his hand of, of love to the people of Alakwere here. The past government, there were never a time where they stretched a hand of fellowship to this resident here. But this is the second uh, year of uh, Akio Mambode and uh, he has stretched his hand here. I believe he will do more. He will do more and uh, may God bless him for him remembering these people here. Landlords in the area are also taking advantage of the construction work to build more shops in anticipation of what the road will bring, all thanks to the visionary leadership of Governor Akiumi Ambody. Small-scale business owners said that commercial activities will receive a major boost when the road is commissioned. They revealed that the failed portion of the road in time past discouraged buyers coming from the islands to pass through the area and link to my 12 on the bridge en route Ikorodu. Ambode is trying, in fact, he's the best governor, he's trying, making everywhere look fine, making the road to be free, go slow, there's no more go slow like before. Before, if somebody tell you that I'm waiting for you at Obalende, it take you one hour before you meet the person. Or maybe if you have an appointment of uh, one hour. Now, if you have an appointment of one hour, before 30 minutes, you are there because the road is free everywhere now is free. People that follow through or good or jota, people that come through estate. This is the bus stop and there is market here. The market will grow, people will stop here and buy market. So I believe that the market will move better than the one we are selling before. According to the supervisor of the project, residents whose buildings are affected by the road construction were adequately compensated including those without proper documentation with the State Ministry of Lands. We have tried to manage them to an extent, uh, like for example, those that have the, had their houses demolished and their fences demolished. Uh, to an extent, with, um, and their soakaways, those that have their soakaways on the right of way, uh, we didn't say because um, they don't have uh, the proper documentation and things like that. We never said that. So what we did was to make sure that we gave those we can give the materials to, to uh, erect a new one, fine. We gave to them those that we we could um, erect a new one for. We we did that one too. So that has really forced, uh, brought in uh, the kind of relationship that we expect uh, between ourselves and the community. We spoke with one of them. No assist you with the materials because we affect soccer we want. That we develop soccer we. Now for now materials, cement, block and then do the concrete of the soccer way for us. And in line with Governor Akiumi Ambody's promise of engaging members of the communities, 40% of the workforce was sourced from within the community to create jobs for the youths. Many of them are here working as we speak. 40% um, of them are from this uh, environment. Definitely you don't expect us to just come here and harvest uh, their workers. Yeah, we have our own and we have to blend them with the ones that uh, we, uh, the community. So we need market. We need to have market around the Lakbury. Aside dual drains and walkways, the road has modern street light for security and aesthetic purposes. Lagos is more or less like a construction site all over. Go to Abu Lekba, go to everywhere. The last time I was Abu Lekba, I saw the over bridge at Marvel. Go to Bega, it's a total transformation. I have never seen anything like this all over the country. We read papers, we listen to the news. Even in Ekiti, some of them will ask you, what's going on in Lagos State? He said, we don't even know how this man is financing all these projects at the same time. Development everywhere, at the local level, at the international level. I believe he's not a politician. He comes from a background of a technocrat, you know, an accountant who has worked in the civil system. So he understands the system. He knows what goes on within the system. So none of this uh, career civil servants can just come and cajole him, so he know what goes on. I think he's delivering major, 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 major development for Lagos, something we have not seen before.